Hi friends, Living Fit with Laura and this very, very blustery, freezing cold, gray, rainy, <laughs> absolutely beautiful day. Each day, we don't complain, curse, criticize, or condemn our lives. We don't wake up in the morning and moan and groan and focus on the have-nots. We continue moving forward to those things that lie ahead putting behind us those things that lie behind, checking in with our attitude. It is our attitude, our thoughts, our habits in thought, word, and deed that give us misery or happiness. And remember, there's a big difference between happiness and joy. I talk a lot about steadfast joy which we have 24 seven. We know why we're here, we know who we are, and we know where we're going after our physical bodies die. We are here because our creator, the creator of the heavens and the earth, has given us a chance to contribute a legacy of hope to the world. How do we do that? With our unique gifts and abilities, not trying to copycat other people, not trying to compare our lives to other people, not trying to be like someone else, but living well. How do we live well? By forgiveness. We have to get rid of all the mental junk every day. We forgive ourselves, we forgive others. We ditch the shame, regret, guilt, and remorse. When we're walking around with all that junk, we know of not, not much use to people. Where do we go after we die? What's the purpose of this life? It is not to work ourselves to death and focus on our bank accounts. It is to leave a legacy of hope, to live well, to not focus on ourselves, but focus on this big, beautiful world. Not focus on ourselves, but make another person's life better. Not having a pity party picnic for one. We realize that there are people who have easier lives than we do and worse lives than we do. The circumstances, can affect our happiness if and only if, IFF, if and only if we focus on that and allow it. But then we are sinking into a quicksand uh, of if only this, if only that, if this happens and I'll be happy, if that happens then I'll be happy, if this person uh, that I'm estranged from but that I'm upset with and apologizes then I'll have peace of mind. No, we have peace of mind now. We forgive right now. We live well right now. Because now is all we have. And we, our thoughts, are what we have all the time. We can run, but we can't hide. We can change our spouse, change our job, change our residence. But we will always have our thoughts and our attitude. So the key to contentment, as I've been telling my friends, is to check our attitude, focus off ourselves, Depression and narcissism and e being egocentric is very much a very self-absorbed life. We focus off ourselves. We leave a legacy of hope because we have the gift of life. We have the gift of life and we are grateful. We have the gift of life. We continue moving towards those things that lie ahead. We keep behind us those things that lie behind. How do we move forward? One step at a time, one minute at a time. We get outside and we get our exercise. Rain, snow, or shine. We dress for the weather. We don't exercise because we feel like it. I never feel like exercising. I never feel like exercising. <laughs> it's freezing cold. Uh, I never feel like getting up at four in the morning and exercising. But I do it because it is a habit. I see the best in people and I like to lift people up because it is a habit. I didn't used to be that way. I used to be a junk food junkie. I used to sit around, moan and groan and complain, feel sorry for myself, waiting for other people or circumstances to come along and rescue me out of my misery. <laughs> we take responsibility for our lives. When we are depressed, if it is a genetic depression, which I have, I'm actually sad all the time, however, I don't capitalize it, I don't focus on it, I don't put pitiful me all the time. I recognize and I accept that that is my DNA. 
that I am melancholy. And actually, I see that as a gift because for those people who are depressed, we see that as a gift because we are able to have more compassion for other people. We are able to get up, get dressed, put our shoes on, and have a gratefulness and an appreciation that is deeply profound. I used to want to be shallow and superficial because it seems to me that many times, especially in jobs, shallow, superficial uh, people <laughs> with not much character seem to be the ones to have it all. <laughs> no, we don't do that. We don't compare ourselves. And we also don't criticize other people. We wish other people well. We want other people to do well and be well. So living fit with Laura, let's say the prayer with me again. I'll not live in want. For today, I'll not live in want. I will focus on this beautiful day. This is the day my Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice. I don't try to rejoice. I have decided to rejoice. This is the day I live in today. I don't wait until tomorrow. I will rejoice and be glad. I will not lament today. Thou art my shepherd, I shall not want. I will not live in want today. Thou leadest me by the still waters, by the green pastures. You restore my soul, O oh Lord. Think about green pastures and still waters. It is a state of calmness, of peacefulness. We have peace because we know and realize and accept that we are loved by a living God, not a dead God. We are loved by a living God. He is alive and well, my friends. And he has taught us the truths from 2022 years ago to live well. He is not a God of punishment. He is a God of love. He gives us commandments and guidelines to live by because he wants us to be sane, stable, serene, and strong. You can try it for yourself. The new culture fads um, that are taught today, if you want to be insane <laughs> and not at peace, follow the culture. There is no peace in this culture. People think more is better. Polyamory. Let's sleep around with anyone I want. No commitment. You think that's better? There is a study done that there is a lot of depression, anxiety, suicide in the porn industry and in the polyamorous lifestyle. People that have an open marriage, they want their cake and eat it too. If you are married, we act married and we focus on our spouse. We don't, so many people live as if they're single when they are married and or live as if they are married when they are single. So. We live well, we respect ourselves enough to raise the bar high. We live well and we respect others enough to love and accept and forgive. We are all beautifully and wonderfully made. We are all flawed and we are all imperfect. But it is the beauty of loving people that are very different than we are. It would be a boring world if everyone I knew was like me. <laughs> so <clears throat> I get very bored with myself. Living for it with me, let's have, take a look at these beautiful, beautiful trees. Look at the beautiful green, red leaves. I will live well today. I will get my exercise. I will eat one ingredient foods and drink my water. I will eat when I am hungry and stop when I'm satiated. I will not feed my body junk. I will also not villainize or legalize food. I will enjoy the occasional piece of homemade birthday cake or cookie and I will enjoy my life. We enjoy our lives because life is a gift. Have a great day with me, Living Fit with Laura. Let's get off the sofa, get our exercise. In the last part of this video, I want to tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing my fleece um, boots that are waterproof, a raincoat. I have a jacket underneath my jacket. And I wear layers. I wear something when we cover our heads, our neck, and our hands, and our feet. We can stay warm and dry. Have an awesome day with me. Let's live well today. Let's have an awesome day because we have decided to. Great work. Living fit with Laura.